A Walk in the Woods First, we'll show them the blue crow's nest. They're sure to like that. And then we'll treat them to the sweetest raspberries. Uh-huh. They'll be so busy licking their fingers, they won't realize they're already at the firefly glade. And here, the frog chorus, along with Lisa, will give a special concert. I hope you all will enjoy it. Oh, of course we'll enjoy it. Plus, they've seen everything at the school ten times over. <sighs> all that's left to do is double-check the route. Want some? Plumberry with a hint of unpredictability. Uh -huh. And if you'll continue this way, here we have the nesting place of the blue crow. It looks like the crow has relocated and took the nest with it. It took the entire tree. Come back! How are we supposed to run an excursion here if the trees won't stand still? These tracks, they're odd. They don't look like roots. Maybe Baba Yaga left them. What? I feel a dainty. It's elegant. I didn't steal the bird. And besides, I'm having the day off. <gasps> Look at that. What is it? Someone's stealing the raspberry bush. Where are you taking our raspberries? We haven't shown them to the boys yet. <laughs> Whoever that was, he clearly knows his magic and the best spots in our forest. If this carries on, there'll be nothing left to show Levon and Vosco. We have to do something. Dorma and Lisa, you take the Firefly Meadow. The three of us will check the pond. The fireflies flew away at the speed of light. But look at these tracks. What kind of feet would leave these way out here? <gasps> Roots like feet, knobby knees, you'll find him midst the trees. I know who it is! <gasps> Who's that? Whoever that is, he can't have the pond. Princesses, let's go! Keep your branches off our pond! <gasps> That's a bog! I'll just squelch back. Well, that was a slick move. Don't worry, how's this for slick? Time for fire. Helen, ready your eyes. Stop! It's Leshy, the forest spirit, the protector of trees and bees. Takes care of the forest, so everyone familiar with forest knows you should make friends with Leshy. Wait here. Ah! He means only good. Don't get too close. What if he eats her? <gasps> Greetings, spirit of the wood. We live as friends as people should. Mm -hmm. A daughter of Woodstream? Lisa Oakengrove. That may be. But why then, Miss Oakengrove, are you and your friends hurting the forest? Actually, we were saving it. From you. Oh, from me? <laughs> we certainly weren't hurting it. We weren't lighting fires or burning leaves. Oh, isn't this yours? Predictberry and Plumberry. We did drop some litter. Candy wrappers are so small. Could they really hurt this big forest? Didn't I hear you were planning an excursion? Well then, come on. We'll take a walk and I'll show you. Here, all living things are connected. <sighs> the blue crow loves the raspberry <laughs> bush. The raspberry bushes need clean water from the stream. Fireflies love the damp spots near the water. And the stream runs out of the pond. And if candy wrappers fall into the pond, even if it's the most delicious candy in the world, this lovely stream could dry up. And then the fireflies will fly away, the raspberry bush will wither, and the crow will have nothing to eat. That's why I moved the crow to another bush. The raspberries to the stream. And the fireflies closer to the water. Now, do you understand? Yes! We won't ever drop litter in the forest. That's good. Now for Lisa's concert. I would be honored to join the audience if Yay, I was. Yes, of course! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you for the concert. Please tell me when you give another. And while I'm not here, I ask you, please, respect the forest. Like a grown-up. Almost there. Hidden by magic lock and key. A room that only grown-ups see. <gasps> there are secret rooms in our school? Yes, we store important documents in here. If they got mixed up, it would cause an awful lot of confusion. <laughs> We might get ordinary sticks instead of magical wands, or schedule exams instead of holidays. That's why this room is for grown-ups only. Amazing! And I thought that I knew every room in this school. Don't forget to water the flowers in the small greenhouse! We have another greenhouse? We do, but it's off-limits to children. <sighs> off-limits to children? I wonder what interesting things they keep there. Rare plants in the greenhouse, ancient spells in the records room. <sighs> If only we were grown-ups. I do need a refresher on the verbs. Is it ne ie or ne ie? It's a shame. If only Marlene could join us for the unicorn language course. Yes, but Marlene is the assistant principal. She can only be replaced by an adult magician. And where would we find one? Me? I could serve as the assistant principal. Or more like assistant assistant. That is out of the question. Rather, it would be out of the question. But this is Daria. I think she could handle it. You can definitely handle this. The assistant principal doesn't have many responsibilities. Here's a short list. Mm. Here is the assistant principal's badge and the key to the small <gasps> greenhouse. What are the flowers? But don't let the begonia get out. You'll also need to pick the ripe letters in the records room. The post squirrel will be coming for them. Um... Keep an eye on the others. After all, you're in charge. And if anything goes wrong, you can take off the badge. I'll rush right back to help you. No way. I don't need any help. Hello there. I am the adult magician who will be watering you today. I hope we grow to like each other. I wish I'd known you. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known you. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. Ah, are you the assistant principal? Yes, are you the smile of the closet? No, I'm the records room sigh. No time to smile, only sigh. We're very serious here. Letters, invoices, reports. These all require your signature. That's it? Don't you have anything more exciting in here? Like ancient prophecies? And maybe you have a secret encyclopedia I can read? I'm old enough to read them now. <sighs> Give me a moment. The most interesting thing I have to offer you is the manual for a kettle. Like to see? Uh, uh, a report on grades. A report on the... Dishes? <sighs> a report on reports. Oh, how exciting! We received an invitation to THE Songbirds concert. We must respond quickly. They need a list of who will be attending the concert. <sighs> okay, so we have... Rooney, Dorma, Vasco, Levan... <gasps> the Begonia! How did it get out? How does Marlene handle this thing? Let me check the manual. If the begonia escapes, pour the anti-growth elixir from the red bottle on it. I made a mistake, but I fixed it. Like a grown-up. Not to mention, 
I took care of the documents. I barely got the letters to the boss squirrel. Too bad we won't all be going to the concert. Even though I would have loved to hear Songbird perform live. Oh, I didn't finish the response letter. Mm. I messed up again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, the Seven League Boots! Daria, Daria! Our kite got stuck and we can't get it down. Can you please help us out? Dorma, I really don't have time for that right now. Don't worry. We've got this. Wind could get it down. What about the storm spell? Oh, this is a speedy postal service. Mr. Postman, please wait for me. I really need to finish writing my letter. <sighs> and now, we can all attend. Oh, I need a break. Somebody, please help us! Back, so we used the spell, but the storm got out of control. But why? We're not supposed to use magic. Daria, help us. You're the assistant principal. Well, I... I don't know what to do. Oh, being a grown-up is hard. Marlene, I need your help. Please. Spell gone wrong, reverse. Thunderstorm, disperse. I'm so sorry. I messed up and couldn't do anything right. That's not true, Daria. You did your very best. You were a great assistant principal. Our class can be difficult at times, even for a grown-up. Actually, I didn't like growing up so suddenly. Not like that. I'd rather take time to grow up. So for now, could I go play with everyone else, Marlene? Of course you can. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Our Daria. Wow, what kind of bird is that? A vanishing raven. Not much is known about them. <laughs> but they are known to be shy, so it's very important that we're quiet. Surrender, beast! <gasps> You'll never escape a hero! Could you please go and practice being heroes somewhere else? Can't you see I'm in the middle of some important research? Daria, join us! I want to play too! Us too! <laughs> <laughs> Great! Now I can't do my research! Meal time! Here! Hey, Daria, what's that? It's an invitation to a special school for highly gifted magic users. You will never leave us, right? I will. Then nobody will be able to distract me from my research. Sweeping, swabbing, magic broom. Fly inside and clean my room. work either. Now, what was the other spell again? I haven't used it in a while. Don't make that face. The Immortal has a book on housekeeping. I'm sure it must contain some cleaning spells. We'll have you cleaned up in no time. So you just wait here. I will need to get into the school. How do I do that? Hmm, I don't exactly look like a princess. Oh, but I can become one. Make some mushrooms from the glade. Brew some magic for this trade. I'm the princess, you're the witch. One, two, three, and now we switch. <gasps> ah! <gasps> What's going on? Baba Yaga must have done this. How will I get back into school like this? Gloria, are you really leaving? Leaving? Of course not. I just got here. Uh, for class. Good afternoon, my dear students. It's time to begin class. Our topic today is reversal spells. I will need two volunteers. Pick me. Could I be reversed first? Pick me. Second to first, reverse. Uh. Uh. Anyone else want to try? Me next. Second to first. Uh. Reverse. Uh. <clears throat> Daria, that wasn't very nice. Careful, Daria. <laughs> it's Baba Yaga. What is she up to? I got this. Second to first, reverse. There. Such mastery of the lesson. Did you see that? Second to first, reverse. <laughs> Second to first, reverse. Second to first, reverse. Now then, Baba Yaga has been persistent today in her attempt to break into the school. So if you could, please, stand guard tonight, Archie. No 
offense, but I think you need a spring cleaning. I have an idea. I'll clean you right up, and you can help me with something. And now we're even. Thank you. Oh, I made it inside. Now I need to find that book with counter spells. Found it. No, not that one. There. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. Yes, it worked. <gasps> Fine. It's time to start looking for a couple of cleaning spells. <sighs> you should have stayed in the forest. Sorry, but they don't teach magic in the forest. What's all the commotion? <gasps> it's Baba Yaga! She turned into me! And I can prove I'm real because I know today's lesson. What spell did we learn? It was a reversal spell. What makes you think you can turn into my student? I'll send you somewhere so far away that you can't interfere with our lessons anymore. The moon! <laughs> Surrender, whoever you... aren't? I had a feeling that wasn't really Daria earlier. Well, admit it. Which of you is the fake one? <laughs> Lisa! Hold on! I've got you! Well, I have always wanted to go to the moon. Daria, I'm sorry that we disturbed your research. How do you know that I'm the real one? Because our Daria wouldn't hesitate to save me. You came to the moon too? It's not the moon, it's our forest. I wanted to scare Baba Yaga. And, on that note, second to first reverse. Oh. 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 Hmm, you know, it's kind of nice. I could live on the moon. <laughs> Daria, I thought you wanted to go to that school. Our school is the only one that I want to go to. My friends and teachers make this the best school ever. <laughs> Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long as soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen, are you okay? <sighs> I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. It's the best winter holiday. <sighs> Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. But all of that happens in Snowland, not Wondermont. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. <laughs> The library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says we must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print... The spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders, please be still. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. It's working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. I just got started. What is happening? Snow? 
in summer? That's him. Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash. Yay! Hey, wait up! Come with me to the school, otherwise you'll freeze! <gasps> Look! So cool! Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful! Look inside! They're tiny snowflakes! Uh, I figured out what we must not do! Uh-oh! You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon! Vasco is out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather! We have to go find him quick, and bring him straight back. I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vasco? Look at this. The girls wanted to summon Winter for me, and they did it. But they did it wrong, and the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls, before their hearts freeze over. Vasco! 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 I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! Vasco! I'm coming to get you! Girls, look over here! Grandma taught me how to handle heart frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the showstopper! Ta-da! Come on, girls! Could you please love? I know who you are! You're the legendary sorcerer of the snowy north! And you brought this false winter! But I won't let you freeze all my friends! Wasco is cold and in danger, and I'm here doing silly magic tricks! He would never abandon us like this! He came to save me from the six-legged beast! And he saved Rooney on the flying disc! And once, he protected us from those rocks! I can't stop shivering, it's so cold! My tongue's gone numb! Are we in a freezer? Girls, you finally awakened! Quickly, we have to find the boy! Vasco! Vasco! Demon! Let's do it! Bless you, buddy! Why are the pendants glowing? We've never studied magic like this before. Oh, that? In El Dorado, we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying, friends keep you warm in the cold. <gasps> so, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread? Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland day? Oh, you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now, let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. What? That's a snowman. He's very kind. Kind? Then let's give him a cup of cocoa, too. <laughs> <laughs> the Wondermont Boomerang. Move the Rooney double flying rainbow move. One, two. Hey, hey, hey! One, two, three, four. <gasps> did you see that? He did four full twists. Exactly. It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. 
But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Carrero too scared? Me scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Do one more round! <laughs> hmm, look at that leap, like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Flight enhancer, of course! With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero! Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. <laughs> Oh. Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. <sighs> well, Professor, isn't it just wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea? Yes. We don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. Ah! Ah! Rooney, give me your hand! And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang. So it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Woo -hoo! Have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case... Why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your Eldorado leap with a surprise. No problem. That was amazing, that was Rooney. So cool. Well done, Vasco. What a feat. I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermont... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, 
We're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right. Stop ordering us around. You're bossy. Well, clearly, without me, you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late, and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine, then. Maybe I would be better off, too. <gasps> With other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve. And yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> And soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough! I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls! I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. Huh? Let's have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Doria and I found outside. Oh, wow. You should wear it. Thank you. Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. <sighs> Girls, what's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. <gasps> well then, let's replace Helen. Hooray! It's hide and seek! My favorite! Where's to find Helen wins! To get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. There! Oh, Helen! You who? Where are you? We just want to play! Huh? No, you're in there. <laughs> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? <sighs> Thank you for getting me out of there. It wasn't comfortable in there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Doria needs us. Where is she? 
She's getting away! Not yet! Toma, hold up the mirror! But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this! We wanted a different Daria! And it was our fault! What do we do now? Hey you, Mira! Give Daria back! We only want our Daria! Give her back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only want <laughs> you. Daylight Robbery Hmm, that's not bad. This one looks a lot more like the Immortal. At least, compared to those. Sorry. <laughs> Both of you need a little more practice. But not me. Oh, Rooney! You just ruined my act. At least you have an act. I can't think of a single thing to do. You could make the immortal snore. Well, awake. Or put Professor Cat to sleep. <sighs> but that's not very impressive. It's all right, Dorma. It doesn't have to be impressive. Tonight's performance is about entertaining the teachers. I'll go to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find a spell there. <laughs> Come back! Get down! Where are you going? <laughs> Mr. Mortal, do you need some help? No, I'm just organizing my spell books. But they keep flying. Come back! Get back here! This looks like the Immortal's personal spell book. This spell brings darkness in the middle of the day. Oh, impressive. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Snuff out the sun, bring in the night. What time is it? Did I already miss the performance? Dorma, it's daytime. I don't understand it. The sun was just blown out. Like a candle. <gasps> it's all my fault. I was trying a spell from your magic book. I'm sorry, Mr. Immortal. And then I fell asleep and cast it in my dream. Dorma, what was the spell for? For temporary darkness. In the middle of the day. <gasps> what have you done? By casting the spell in your sleep, your magic was much stronger. Instead of a brief darkness, you've made... Eternal Night. <gasps> Eternal? As in forever? Oh. How can we fix this, sir? Is there anything we can do? We can, but we must act swiftly. We have to reverse the spell before the actual nightfall occurs. Otherwise, it'll be night forever. We have less than an hour. We must find the correct spell. Then we will all need to combine our magic and cast the spell together. We must unite our powers to bring back the day. Hmm. If it's going to take all our magic to undo this, then what we need is... Baba Yaga! Hurry! The spell to undo eternal night is in... a red book. Hmm. Or maybe it's brown. Begin searching! Do you think Baba Yaga will help us? Uh-uh. I doubt she'd help us willingly. She's not like that. And forcing her isn't a good idea either. Should you? Oh, I'm right here. Good job. You made it night in the middle of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. I couldn't do that myself. We came to ask for help. The Immortal says we need all our powers cast together in order to reverse the spell. Or it will be night forever. Forever, you say? That's bad. So bad, you won't have any herbs for your spells. They won't grow without sun. And your hut will hibernate. She can sleep when it's dark. Hmm. We need to cast a spell before actual nightfall comes. Hurry! Ah! <laughs> 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 
What are you doing? But I like this darkness. It works well for me. It makes it easier to get away with doing naughty things. <laughs> See you later. Hey, get off. <laughs> good try, princess, but not good enough. <laughs> We're free now. Oh, that means something bad must have happened to Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, are you all right? <sighs> so hard to see trees in the dark. Perhaps then you've changed your mind? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid that we are almost out of time. I see that, but where are the princesses? We're here! Baba Yaga, why have you come? Oh, I had to come. Just look what those girls have done to a poor old lady. So, where's the spell? Sentimental. Stop. I've had quite enough. I'm sorry I caused all this. The performance was supposed to be fun, but I took it too seriously. Yes, way too seriously. <laughs> it's not always about being the best. The thing to remember is sometimes it's just the joy of magic. Couldn't you wait till after our acts to do yours? Is entertaining though. <laughs> <laughs> the Seven League Boots. Rooney, you need to improve your grades. Otherwise, you'll have to retake all of your exams. All of my exams? Every single one of them. <sighs> oh dear. Now I'm even having nightmares about retaking everything. Today we are holding a magical race. To finish in first, just pick up the pace. And if you can finish ahead of the pack, then there's a good chance you won't be held back. Huh? The professor said so himself. <laughs> well, not in verse. I turned it into poetry myself. <gasps> a race? Now's my chance. If I go fast, then I can pass. Are we late or is Bruni early? I don't remember you ever coming to class before us. Is it surprising? I'll have you know that I love learning. Good morning. Let us continue our lesson on magical transportation. It's not always possible to use magic from a distance. Therefore, should someone require urgent magical intervention... Such as an emergency rescue? Precisely. In such dire situations, we use this method. The wonderful magic of transportation. Today, you are being given a rare opportunity to prove your skills and speed. Have a look outside. Oh, wow! Those boots! They're prettier than I had ever imagined. Oh? <laughs> You'll be divided into teams. Then we'll prepare the race. Uh, uh, oh? I choose a stove. It can go anywhere, and it's as fast as the wind. I'll take the Seven League Boots. If anyone knows shoes, it's me. If you'd read the chapter on aerodynamics, you'd know the flying carpet is the faster one. Perhaps, but I've flown a carpet before. I'd like to try the stove now. Good. It seems we have our teams decided. Now, allow me to remind you of the rules. Whoever's magical transport crosses the finish line first will be awarded the highest score. And won't have to retake exams. Yes, you won't have to retake exams. Yes, okay, let's go. Here, Lisa, let me help you. Uh, oh, thank you, Rooney. Uh, What's wrong, girls? Uh, nothing. Everything's just fine. Good. Get set and go! With her? Nothing. It must be a shortcut, but that breaks the rules. If we follow her, then we'll lose. We need more firewood. There's no way I'm losing this race. Gather ye toadstools while ye may. Stop that! 
I'm sorry. I'm not doing this on purpose. The birds won't stop. Now you've done it. Run to the enchanted swamp. At least while you're stuck there, you won't be able to trample my garden. Bruni, I'm worried about Lisa. Dorma, we're so close to winning this. It's not our fault Lisa didn't train harder. I agree with the part about Lisa, but you're wrong about who will win. <laughs> we'll see about that. Someone help! What's wrong, Lisa? I can't control the boots anymore. What's happening? <gasps> Your boots unzipped. That must be why I can't control them. And Baba Yaga sent me to the swamp. Oh, no. This is all my fault. Hold on, Lisa. We'll save you. <laughs> run, run. Into the swamp where you belong. Ah! Oh, now it's the two of you on the stove. Someone oh, help me. I'll teach you a lesson. First it's your boots. Then you use your stove to crush my toadstools. Lisa, take my hand. <laughs> Since the race is over, the rescue mission begins now. I'll show you both. Rooney, help me. <laughs> Stubborn shoes! Take them off or we'll end up in the swamp! If you want to be in the swamp so bad, go ahead, but not with us! <clears throat> oh, Rooney! Thank you for saving me! Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Now to teach you a lesson! Come on! I'm the one sinking! Girls, what took so long? Why was the flying carpet the only one on time? On top of that, where is the stove? And the seven league boots. Professor, it's my fault. I was in such a hurry that I broke the boot zipper. I didn't tell anyone and put Lisa in danger. I'm sorry. You know, you could have told me, but you saved me from Baba Yaga. So of course I forgive mm. you. And Rooney caught up with the boots. It's all thanks to Rooney's speed. Well, well, it seems that I missed some interesting events. Professor, Baba Yaga is stuck. <gasps> Remember the purpose of magical transport. It is meant to be used to save those in dire need. That's why we use races for training purposes. Therefore, since you saved Lisa, Rooney will receive the highest grade. Hooray! But if you don't start studying, no extra credit will prevent you from retaking classes. And of course, you must also <laughs> clean up the mess left over from your adventures. Are we all clear? I promise to apply my speed to cleaning up. And I'll also repair the boots and help fix Baba Yaga's garden. Oh, and will you sweep out my heart? <laughs> I didn't clean because of your antics. You can fix the roof, too. And clean the cauldron. And take out the trash. <laughs> ah. Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here. Please help me. Won't somebody please get me out of here? There. This will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good. Cut. Rewind. Show it to me. Playback. Please help me. Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? Freeze it. This looks better than I'd hoped. You can turn it off now. All right. Let's see what the school schedule looks like. Ah, good. The Magical Task Generator. Tuesday at 12.45. What is today? Uh... It's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. They'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about is the concentration and release of miraculous energy. Yeah! <laughs> all right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not. Right. girls. No need to argue. Princesses. This is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better? Knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the magical task generator. And the assignment will go to Rooney uh. and Dari. 
it's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm. Just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble bottle flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. Hmm. <laughs> now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? <sighs> what a gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh, want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Bind us and wind us. <gasps> Well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars! Just you wait, brats! Hey, Falcon, Falcon, it's Eagle. Erase that footage. The professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> 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 Look how daring you become! Daria, chop the spell, quick! <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no, it shrinks back just to tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Yeah! I'm in charge now. Huh. <laughs> Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! And girls, you are not to leave. Get your camera ready. I'm going to give them a fright. Hey, stop crying. Beg me to set you free at once. <gasps> What? I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Ah, bind us on this. <laughs> bind us on bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! <laughs> bind us on wind us! <laughs> hey, Hut! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! <laughs> Doria, stop her! Take a deep breath and feel the energy, then push the energy out! <laughs> you can't do it! Don't try if you don't know how! Concentrate! It's only you, your intentions, and your power! <laughs> we did it! We passed the level! Doria! Rooney! Right Is everything okay? Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Papa Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They can be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding the teachers. Ah, your pumpkin is growing wonderfully. We'll try turning it into a carriage later, like Cinderella. <laughs> Look what I grew. No one will be able to sleep well on this pea pod. No, no, you must make the peas ordinary. Fairy tale standards. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> what have we here? Uh, well, these plants are invisible eggplants. Invisible? Hmm, I figured as much. A Forest Beauty Cosmetics magazine. You're too young to concern yourself with such things. Oh, but my grandmother has a birthday coming up, and she loves this sort of thing. Oh, while kindness is admirable, you're in class right now. Please try to focus on your studies. <gasps> 
they really grew. Mm -hmm. They're ripe, too. Well done, Daria. Professor Grunwald will be thrilled. He thought this variety of apple was lost forever. Who's that? Professor Grunwald? A professor of magical botany. I'm so glad Al kept those old seeds. Girls, Daria managed to grow rejuvenating apples. Oh, aren't mine as good? Why, Dorma, whatever do you mean? Your apples are wonderful as well. They're just like your fairy tale. Try my apples. Mmm. These apples taste like no other. They're very special. Perfect for apple pie. What do you think? A rejuvenating apple lotion. Grandmother would be thrilled. I'll only pick a few. There you are. <gasps> Where were you? I, uh, uh... Never mind. Let's go. I've got the sugar right here. Here it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a real feast. The girls have done a wonderful job. May I please have this piece? Mm. Mmm, this is magnificent. These apples are... They're from the magic apple tree. <gasps> hey, give me some more. That pie was the bomb. What's happened to them? I did this. It's all my fault. My rejuvenating apples got into the pie. Oh, no. And I was so excited to find them. We didn't have enough. I don't understand. Why did you pick them? It wasn't many. I only picked a few. Hey, let's play tag. There's a teacher's meeting, and it's starting now. Ah! What kind of meeting? A fairy tale optic session. Professor Grunwald is waiting. <gasps> what should we do? It'll be fine. Take the kids to the office. Stall the meeting for half an hour. And I'll look for a way to reverse the spell. Wondermont, please come in. Wondermont, can you hear me? <laughs> If things go wrong, I can create some static. Deal. Here we go. Did you request a video call? Did something happen? Mr. Immortal, I'm listening. Whoa, you need something or what? Tell them about our garden, how it's totally off the hook. Make it sound really cool. Right, got it. Okay. Our garden is slaying it. One uh -huh. month school. Our botany skills totally rule. The plant things are growing. Magical knowledge. Rock and the berry. Uh -huh. yeah, don't stop. Our garden is hot. Now our students will report on their successful botany projects. Uh, oh, uh, we've achieved tremendous success with uh, growing these princess peas here. And a pumpkin carrot. And rejuvenating apples. Rejuvenating apples? But that variety died off ages ago. The scientific community will not tolerate fraud. Claims that cannot be backed up with proof will result in the school being disqualified and its license revoked. I've got your proof. Our teachers tested out the apples for, uh, scientific reasons. Experimenting on themselves? Such admirable dedication. And I assume the antidote was prepared in advance? But of course. Uh, uh hello, hello. We can't hear you. Uh, it's a bad connection. Uh, what? Oh, dear. Phew. Close one. Well, you done? Almost. <sighs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Ta-da. Who shall go first? Me. Let me try. It could make you older. But still, we mustn't experiment on the children. It didn't work. The potion needs to cool off. Oh, uh, you're back now. <laughs> well, due to my immortality, these things don't actually work on me. In this case, I wanted to see how you girls would get yourselves out of such a, uh, uh such a curious predicament. And you did well. Where's my mummy? One moment. Let's get back to rescuing the teachers. Helen the Fair, if you would, please. Oh, thank you. I was quite thirsty. Mr. Immortal, can we please leave the professor this way? Look, he's so cute and playful. <laughs> <laughs> and review paragraphs 9 through 49. Wrong one. Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs>
I still think you should delete... My childhood has come to an end. <gasps> the antidote won't. <gasps> oh, no, Lisa. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. It's only a mask. 